Okay, we're gonna do lesson 3-1, the distributive property of multiplication. So let's take a look at our worksheet here. Um, the distributive property says that we can break apart a multiplication fact into the sum of two other multiplication facts. Okay, what they're basically saying is we can take, let's say, um, three times four, okay? We can break this up if we have three groups of four, right? We can break this up into two times four and one times four, right? One times four equals four. Two times four equals, how many dots are in there? Two groups of four. Eight, we can add them together. Eight plus four is 12. So therefore, three times four equals 12. What they're saying is you can take a multiplication problem and you can break this up into two times four and one times four and put them together and get your answer. So let's take a look at these on the, on the uh, worksheet here. Okay, so let's say we have seven groups of six, okay? So here we have seven groups of six, okay? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six in each group. So we have seven times six, and we wanna know what that is. So we can break up, we'll, we'll leave the, the six the same, okay? But let's break it up into how many groups of six and how many groups of six. Well, I always love to break things up either into two, five, or 10, because those are the easiest ones to multiply. So let's break it up. A seven is, is five plus two, right? So let's break this up into one, two, three, four, five. Five groups of six and two groups of six. Okay? So they have these cool parentheses that Okay, parentheses plus parentheses equals the answer, okay? And you get you put a multiplication sign inside each one. Now, our six stays the same, okay? So this is our six, okay? And we're gonna break the seven in up into five and two, okay? So what we did here is we took seven groups of six and we broke that up into five groups of six and two groups of six. So five groups of six, plus two groups of six. So five groups of six, five times six, what is that? Write that down right there. 30. And two groups of six, what's that answer? Write that down right there. 12. And we add them together. Okay, so if you have it written like this, you write, okay, five groups of six is 30. And two groups of six, is 12 and then you can either if you can do that in your head you can do it in your head if not you do it off to the side 30 plus 12 and that equals 42 therefore 7 times 6 equals 42 okay so let's take a look at well let's look at this one here so five groups of what and two groups of six okay I like to color code these here okay Seven is one color and the six is another, okay? The six is gonna stay the same. Only one of these numbers, you can only change the seven or you can only change the six, okay? So here we're staying with six and then we broke the seven up into five and two. So if you think about it, you have seven groups of six, which is the same if so, if you have, you have seven groups of six, which is the same as five groups of six and two groups of six because five plus two is seven. So if you have seven groups of six, you can take and break it up into five and two. Five groups of six and two groups of six is the same as seven groups of six. Okay, but your, your groups of six stayed the same. Here, we have nine groups of four, okay? So here's nine groups of four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and four across. So this is nine groups of four, okay? Let's split this, nine is made up of, of 
five and four, right? So let's split the nine into five groups of four and four groups of four. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's just split it right here, okay? So we have up above the line, we have five groups of four and down below the line, how many groups of four do you have? Four groups of four, right? So if our nine is green, then we have five groups of four and four groups of four, okay? And then our four stayed the same. So, multiplication in the middle. So, our groups of four stayed the same, right? And we broke up this nine into one, two, three, four, five. Five groups of four and four groups of four, okay? So the five and the four is what we broke that nine up to and then the four stays the same. So five groups of four is equal to 20 and four groups of four is equal to 16, okay? And then we add them together. 36, so here we have five groups of four is 20 and four groups of four is 16 and 20 plus 16 is equal to 36. So nine times four equals 36, okay? So nine groups of four, okay? Our nine's gonna be green. Maybe, I'm gonna pull it off. Our nine will be green and our four will be red, okay? Nine times four. So our four stayed the same. And then the nine, we're gonna break up into five, and four, okay? So this is called the distributive property because we're basically distributing one of the factors into two separate um, numbers. But again, it's one of the factors, okay? You can't, you can't split them both up, it doesn't work. So four groups of six. Here we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So we have four rows and six blocks in each row, right? There's four rows, one, two, three, four, and six rows, six blocks in each row. So draw a line to break the array into two smaller arrays that each have two rows of six. So where are you gonna draw the line? If you draw it here, you got one row of six and three rows of six. Where are you gonna draw that so that you're gonna draw one line, the top has two rows of six and the bottom has two rows of six. Where over here are you gonna draw it? go right here, right? So this is two times six up here, and this is two times six, right? So if we have, if we're gonna look up here, okay? We have two times six equals what? What is two times six? How many blocks do you have here? Count that and write the answer right here. Good. And then down at the bottom, again, we have two times six, and that should equal 12 right? So now we want to add, right? We want to add 12 and 12, right? And get our answer. So 12 plus 12 equals, if you don't know, then do that right there. It'd be 24. Okay. So therefore, four times six equals 24. All right. Amy arranged her button collection into an array of three rows with nine buttons in each row. So we have three different rows and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in each row. To find the total number of buttons, she broke the array into the sum of two smaller arrays. Just means she broke it up into two groups and then the sum means she added them together, okay? So she obviously broke it up into two times nine and one times nine. And two times nine and one times nine should be the same as three times nine, okay? So our nine, okay, our three is over here. And our nine is here. So our nine is staying the same, right? See how the nine is staying the same? And then we broke the three up into two and one, okay? So what is two times nine equal? Two times nine equals 18. And what about one times nine? One times nine equals 
9. So now we have to do 18 plus 9. Now you probably need to do that over here. You could always add 10 and take one away, but 9 plus 8. Okay. So 18 plus 9 equals 27. So therefore, 3 times 9 equals 27. Okay, on the back, draw a 4 by 5 array. Okay. So 4 times 5, that means 4 groups of 5. Okay, so go ahead and flip your paper over to the back. I'll walk you through, but you're going to have to do it. Okay, so... Four times five, so four groups, and there's five in each group. So one, two, three, four, five. 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 Pause if you need to um, finish those, okay? Now, the directions say break the array into two smaller arrays, okay? So this is four times five, we know, on the top, okay? Now, first of all, if you're multiplying by a multiple of five, you just count by fives and write the answer down. You do not need to break up something that has a five in it because you know your fives, okay? So this is only to be used as a strategy when you're stuck on something like three times nine or seven times six or nine times four and you don't, you don't know those yet, okay? But, I mean, four groups of five, you just 5, 10, 15, 20, okay? But the, they want us to make sure we understand how to do that, so we're doing the exercise. Break, break the array into two smaller arrays. So you can do it into two groups of five right here, you could, or you could do one group of five and three groups of five. It's up to you. So break it up into two smaller arrays. Okay, I'm going to break it up right in the middle. And now I want you to write the two different multiplication facts over here. So pause that and write the multiplication fact for this one and the multiplication fact for this one. Okay, so you should have 2 times 5 and 2 times 5. I want you to draw your parentheses, okay? So two parentheses with a plus sign in the middle and multiplication fact, uh, multiplication sign in the middle. Okay, so now go ahead and write these in here. We have two groups of five and two groups of five. Now I want you to solve it. Pause it and solve it. Okay, you should have gotten 10 and 10 and added it together and got 20. Now it's important to do it down here too. 10 plus 10 equals 20. Therefore, four times five equals 20. Excellent, great job.